Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? Once again, I'm Nev from Nev's Tech, but it's also known as your friendly neighborhood basement dweller. Don't worry, ma'am, I am from the internet and coming from the internet, man, I'm trying to get more into the practical stuff, practical application. Popular mechanics is a wonderful way to do that. Of course, anyone who's read these back in the day. I have a big collection, I have multiple stories, I love it when people tell me the stories that they have because this was basically the internet for back in the day for intelligent people who wanted to build things and see breakdowns and schematics. I can't get over how much respect I have for the information within here. But also I want to talk about the society that existed then versus the society that exists now which is radically different. I really think that society has evolved faster than technology in the last like 20 years let's face it everything's different after covid especially dating guys you don't want to date again after covid uh, we'll talk about more about that later but one thing i'm seriously interested in here is this guy is building his own rv can you get away with building your own rv these days i mean back in the day popular mechanics seems to have a lot of stuff to show you how to do things and it seems like over time a lot of people have done the things wrong and got in trouble and you can't really do things anymore we'll talk about more about that later should mechanics have to have to have a license there was a time when they didn't have to have licenses i mean i guess you don't have to you can get billy bob to work on it but you can't safety it or something like this there's so many rules now so goddamn many rules compared to when there was then i'm pretty sure i couldn't make my own rv i'm pretty sure i couldn't uh uh get a license for that or a safety for it i'm sorry let's just keep going there's no way I could get a safety to make a vehicle myself. Heck, I can hardly even work on my own house without getting uh, information to the government. The Plymouth. I'm pretty sure the Plymouth was named after the place that I have a horrible memory of. My first love was an internet girl, and we actually loved each other. I don't care what y'all therapists say about that. You can't. My first love was online. We met in Ply Plymouth, Michigan, and because of frickin' 2020, uh, uh, her grandma got really upset. She's like, oh, internet people are all bad. He can't come and visit us. So I frickin' came and visited anyways, and, uh... It was wonderful. It was frickin' wonderful. I'll always hate 2020 for that. But Plymouth, Michigan, bunch of old people living up there, that's lovely. Now I'm flipping through these cars and I'm seeing a lot of cars that I just don't see anymore. Formula A, does that does that still exist? World's fastest, fastest spark plug. Well, then I guess you better get it in those submarines, guys. But seriously, it's interesting how much mundane things, how many mundane... Oh, yeah, Graham Pricks information in here, too, also. I'm sorry, I'm probably not going through these things like an old time or stopping at everything and talking about everything that you want to. But, hey, this is the way that I do stuff. But, well, drag race. Now, we still have drag racing, and that's freaking awesome. What a lot of young people don't understand is this is actually sticky, and the road underneath it is also sticky. And when you see you see people from the stands coming down just walk on the road. And it's like it's sticky, but they have to do that because these things are so unbelievably overpowered and me gusta i have so much love for overpowered things especially overpowered women don't get me started on that we'll call this thing a woman i don't care how phallic it looks this thing's a woman to me i know i knew guys that uh that made these things but seriously unmitigated power i love it you, we still do this i don't see them as much anymore you definitely never see advertisements for oil filters anymore it's either you get the thing from the uh Sorry, I love these advertisements. You get the thing from the manufacturer, or you get it from some other manufacturer. I have not seen drag racing like this in a while. And I think that this kind of drag racing is dead ultimately because this type of drag racing seemed to come up with the idea of taking an old chassis or an old engine and getting this stuff and making it work. And then, of course, you get people at the top, top who get new, new stuff to make this work. But I think that this version of drag racing is ultimately dead as are demolition derbies because it is too gosh darn hard to get cars these days seems like in North America everybody has cars like it's very difficult to get cars these days compared to how it used to be uh, because it's all seems to be a control thing actually or for manufacturing because there's a lot of car manufacturing that goes on in North America and that seems to be about the only manufacturing that actually goes on in North America and we have people that need jobs so it really seems like we're trying to keep all of the stuff 
Damn, I love those. I just love... How many of these do we... Okay, guys that know this stuff, how many of these races do we still have? Come on, autofocus. I talk about stock cars and conversation all the time, but I swear I never see anything like this. I'm going to have to look at what the new version is. we got to have Formula 1, but I never hear a Formula A. I'm sure it goes on in Europe somewhere. Tell your face you love it with a razor blade. Wow. Okay, so after all the cutting culture that went on in the 90s and 2000s, that ain't cool anymore, but it's hilarious. It's interesting how Camel Cigarettes tried to sell a lifestyle. We always have this cool jabroni over here that's got something over his shoulder, and he's smoking. He's like, yeah, it's like... That thing's sticking out of his hand so much, he's hardly even touching the damn thing. And this guy's like, he's like, oh, on his last outing, Studs, <laughs> Studs, Studs Merkel vowed the gang with his, wowed the gang with his special triple filter cigarette. Now everyone will be smoking special triple filter cigarettes, yeah. Hey, we should be really cool and use those cigarette filters with the asbestos in it. What do you say, boys? I love old trucks. Holy snag it, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. We got a pipe. When was, I got to figure out the last, like this is January 71. I got to figure out the last time an advertisement for a pipe was in one of these. I swear my dad is the only person that I know who smokes a pipe and it's just because his dad did it. Okay. Nobody knows how to upholster anymore. We need to figure out how to sew guys. Like I'm not talking to the older guys, younger guys. We got to figure out how the frick to sew. It's okay if it's gay, and it's not actually gay unless your balls touch, trust me. Be cool with seamstresses. Like, I used to hang out with seamstresses in high school, and that got me in the girls' change room during uh, plays and stuff like that. But the biggest reason was because the girls knew that I wasn't interested in them because I was totally in love with the seamstress. <laughs> so yeah, you get perks for being uh, in love. Sometimes. Let's take a look at what kind of advertisements we got today. Quality opaque. Don't know what that is. Astromica telescope system. Awesome. Black light. Black lights. Interesting. You know, we had those back th then. Weather balloons. I still want to attach a GPS to a weather balloon and see which way it goes. Ecology kits. Ecology kit. Okay. New model digital. Oh, new model digital computer. What is that? What is that? Solve problems. Teach vocal linguistics. Teach logic. Play games. Teach logic. Yeah. I'm, we're all teaching logic and learning logic every day, aren't we? Hot air flying saucer. Oh, I want one of those so bad. I'm pretty sure it's just hot air. And that, I've had one of those. I see them multiple times. It's interesting at how it can project a picture. It's got a bulb here, and you put what you want to project down there, and it puts it on the wall. It's it's actually really trippy and really cool. If you're drawing a mural, they actually they, they help. Is that a hand pump? Jeez, you'd be getting carpal tunnel pretty quick. Hey, kid, I'm a computer. Stop all the downloads. Hmm. You know, they're really nice to look at, but I'd love to ride one, drive one, one of these days. Jeeps. Did I hear right? They're getting rid of Jeeps these days? I can't believe I actually thought the Dremel was like a 1990s invention because they're advertised frickin' all over here. So they actually use these in the NFL. You'll find somebody running along with the sidelines with a big amplifier pointing at stuff. And it's basically because they want to get the audio of uh, like the ball hitting the chest of uh, the quarterback or something like that. It's really interesting. Of course, everyone loves throwing knives and guns. I'm surprised we don't see more guns in this place. We see lots of muscles. This is about the only advertisement page. Oh, geez, everything turned blue all of a sudden. This is about the only advertisement page I found where they're just selling their stuff. So <gasps> Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. Okay, I want that. I want one of those so bad. I want those muscles too, but that. <gasps> Whoa! Switchblade? Jeez, you guys came to play. Why? You always wanted to be like the Fonzie? Wait, that's an antenna? Are you serious? I kind of always thought those were skylights. Oh, all-terrain vehicles. It's like go-karts for adults. I want to be in that race. Oh, geez, you wouldn't want to flip it, though, would ya? I mean, if that thing rolled on you, how much would that hurt? 
I got a buddy who had a ATV roll on him, and man, he poor guy was down for a while. He worked over at Markdale Chapman's. He didn't actually, he, he wasn't in Chapman's when it happened, but Chapman's took really good care of him. They got two factories over there. One's called the Nut House because uh, you can have nuts, and the other one, you can't have any nuts at all. One of the places burnt down, and they just built that stuff right back up. It's interesting how cigarettes kind of sell a lifestyle. This is Viceroy cigarette. Hand-painted pottery, they collect it on their vacations, too. Sometimes they even get their hands on cigarettes. Oh, no. I, I, I don't know. I'm trying to understand it. Accident investigations. Yes, you are. Ard. You, you got into an accident. I should probably take pictures of you. Personal pictures. You don't need any help at all do you i shouldn't get you uh any ambulance medication meditation just get get into my trunk anyways as i was saying there's a lot of advertisements that just seem to sell sexuality of women or women's attention i should say oh my god i would love to look through an old radio shack catalog wait that's not radio shack that's got to be the most beautiful pack of cigarettes i've ever seen it's also what a healthy lung kind of looks like and what their lungs definitely don't look like Selling the sexuality. What's it with you guys and like these stabby pieces and this, wait, Freemason stuff? All right. Should mechanics have to have a license? Big boom in cartridge TVs. I've never heard of these cartridge TVs. Putting your own TV shows is now as simple as playing a record. Slip a cartridge into a slot and it almost magically appears on TV as your TV screen. This cartridge vision console combines a video recorder player and a TV less than 900 bucks. Oh, wow, video desks. Most unconventional way. That thing looks like plastic. It almost looks like it's flexing in her hand, huh? Holy frick, will you look at that? It actually plays... Well, that's probably Photoshop. Photoshop? You don't have Photoshop back then. Oh, Admiral Console. Price it over $1,000. I'm going to do some research on this and get a, make a bigger video. Oh, sweet. They gave us some totally sweet information. Yeah, okay. It's real to real. Real stacked together. So which one is it? Which? Oh, me gusta. In just seven days, I can make you a man. Don't be creepy at all, but film your family. So back in the day, this was considered a good thing. And you'll notice back in the day when people take videos of people they love, the people they love smile because it was great expense and you had to be really good to take a good photo or video with one of these things. It was unbelievably easy to ruin the whole thing. You really had to know what you were doing uh, in order to get a good picture. And people would smile because it meant that you loved them. But these days, it's so free that if you're taking a video of them, it's mostly just kind of creepy. Now that's looking a little more VCR-ish, but not quite. A slim paperback books. That's just freaking amazing. Panasonic video player resembles a reel-to-reel -reel tape player. That must have been one of the bigger ones those other YouTubers were talking about. And it's interesting, this top loader, I've never seen anything like this in Canada, but I think that it's the kind of thing in Canada where I am, the village, we didn't really have any of these things, and our areas wouldn't get these things unless they did really good, or unless we had someone from the city who had a remarkable amount of money. So one village near me is called Mount Forest, and it is known for some interesting things. One of the things is known for is being uh, the place where the doctors from the city take their their, what do you call them, mistresses, once they get them pregnant, and then they have them there to raise the kids, and then yada, 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 I don't know, I don't know, you know, all these little towns have stories like that, there's something particular about Mount Forest, about, uh, it's easy to hide things, and people like to hide things and people there, oh, now the people in Mount Forest are gonna be really freaking angry at me, but hey, a lot of them are already angry at me because I took them up on the Facebook group about uh, housing issues. The Breath of Life, new, old radio transmitters for helmets put the X on the brain? What? So this guy is going to be focused with 179 gamma rays for a painless blood removal brain tissue experiment. No, -uh, this guy's getting superpowers. Tune in to next month. Holy crap. 
it exists. I remember hearing a thing about a, a Osama bin Laden being really upset that he thought that one of his wives had a radio implanted in her tooth when she got doctor's work done. Holy crap. It can it could happen. This is 1971 if they could do that back then. They could have done that and wow. Wow. Okay. And the bionic knee. So much has been done with these. Thank God for the bionic knee. Oh, look how cute. I actually seen one of these way back in like the 80s. It, it was worn and done. Snowmobile fits in the trunk. Nice. Just like your ex-boyfriend. You thought I was going to say girlfriend, didn't you? No, nope, nobody can get away with that, even if you're homo. Check it out. Buddy's got his own monorail. He's got his own monorail. That is the most awesome thing ever. Why didn't we have more of these? I mean, I'm sure any disabled person that sees this and has their own whatever are going to be like, yeah, I want my own monorail. I believe any disabled person deserves their own monorail. I'll help them install at the schizophrenic house. That's interesting. Jesus, my house? They built, they chose to build it that way. They were brothers and they chose to build a house like this. What the frick, you Germans? Okay, this article here changed my life. Uh, the British people decided to fire chickens at a plane at 700 miles an hour just to see what chickens do to a plane when they get fired at 700 miles an hour for science. Jeez, will you look at that lock? That guy looks like a midget. Yeah, those Americans are all about their big guns, right? Is there a three-wheeler in your future? Hopefully not, because they're pretty deadly. Uh, this is this picture stuff I'm talking about, Bobby. Let me tell you what. So there's a big thing in a certain place in the UK that there was an insurance thing that said these were basically motorbikes and they were a lot cheaper to insure so a lot more people would go out and purchase these things because they were cheaper to insure. Hmm. There was also a lot of death because of it, apparently. If you have any stories about that, if I'm wrong about any of this stuff, please leave a comment because I'm looking backwards, but if you guys could give me information looking forwards, that would be very helpful. All right, home-built steam car takes to the road. I am never getting rid of this issue. And keep telling people about how complicated these old cameras were. We look at this. So you didn't even know what, what exactly shot you were getting. Not all the time. Let's take a look at what's just been patented. Looks like we have a loading system where the sucker doesn't even have to come into shore. Everything's brought in by little dock pieces. Down here we have a, a differently loading system. Loading, unloading, easy for the tanks. But uh, I have a feeling that didn't work out because if you couldn't get your own tank off that thing, maybe you weren't good enough to drive it i'm guessing i don't know maybe that might be the same thing as saying if you can't parallel park you don't deserve a license i'm not exactly sure about that so what we got up here easy to install that would be a lovely fire alarm that just goes in with everything but you have to replace them after a certain amount of time right so it wouldn't be really good for that and a strap on hand gauge oh that would be nice for brick laying that would be super nice. Instant transport. Build your own motor home. Or basically, you build your own millennial home. Okay, get the chassis of an old van. Cut up some stuff. Flap it around in the wind a bit. Shake your wang at it and bam. Just like that, you got yourself a 1970s road warrior rig. Alright, millennials, look at this. Get building. Gotta say, it's interesting that they don't have much gun references or car references in here. Sounds like from the letters to the editor, they wanted to keep to boats and ATVs, and there was a bit of a kerfuffle if they would even touch the car market at one point or other. Holy crud, John Deere made chainsaws. I bet they stopped doing that because they couldn't lock anyone out of them anymore. Anyways, springtime. It happens every it, there's no woman in there huh that's strange so that's it for me folks got lots more on the playlist if you have any memories about anything in here i'd really love to hear them have a good one folks take care of each other will you